Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading. Yes, general messages, general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, just email me. Let me know, you know, what you're kind of looking for and I'll help you get set up. Yes. Um, let's see here. So May 2019, we're, we're getting to, we're getting through the of this year, guys. It's, it's been a bit of a doozy. So for this month, I'm keeping things a little bit the same, but then I'm also switching it up just a little bit again. Yeah. So I'm starting with the, uh, the tarot for the general messages, and then I'm going back to pulling the Oracle card at the end of the reading to kind of tie it all in together to tie it up. But instead of using the Oracle of the unicorns, instead I'm going to be using the crystal mandala deck. Yeah. For a little bit of more, uh, focused, um, guidance direction in terms of what's going on for you this month. All right, Leo. So Let's just get straight to it and see what we've got for you for the month of May. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo. So as I've been channeling your energy, um, I've been kind of like picturing you an image of a lion standing on like a, a cliff or a, um, uh, what is the word, a plateau um, in the Sahara or in the jungle somewhere and just kind of like standing on the edge of this, this cliff and just roaring out. You know, it's very much like the Lion King scene um, you know, that whole situation. Um, if you're familiar with that movie of which I'm sure many of us are, uh, and this doesn't have to really mean anything. However, because I was really just trying to, you know, get into the flow of your energy, Leo. Um, but actually it does have some sort of significance. There are some of you, if not all of you, um, that are, kind of coming into your own sense of pride, but um, pride and ego. But I feel like the biggest thing here when it comes to that is learning where the line is drawn between being egotistical and being self-sufficient or um, of your own mind, very autonomous, sovereign, uh, claiming your sovereignty, that kind of thing. I feel like there is definitely a sense for Leo this month, or at least the Leos that I am channeling for, there is a sense of pride. Yes, egotism. They are saying egotism, but I really feel like if it's, if you're not coming from a place of egotism, you're working on balancing that. Okay. Really trying to get to the bottom of who you are, what you stand for and how to bring that forward, how to live that without being <laughs> they did just say overdramatic or um, overbearing also, okay? Um, a prideful leader in a sense, but not too prideful that you're like, you're, you've got the biggest head in the world, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, Leo. So I'm going to give this three more shuffles here and then we'll see what we've got going on for your month of May. And keep in mind, guys, that whatever comes out through this, one more shuffle, whatever comes out, uh, I am speaking from the perspective of the Leo, like I am speaking to you, Leo, right now. But if there are cross watchers, um, keep in mind, you know, there actually there are going to be cross watchers. So just keep in mind that the, the situation can go either way. OK, just place it as it fits. Take it as it resonates. Don't try to make it fit in a way that it doesn't fit naturally. Last shuffle here. And if it doesn't resonate with you now, then maybe either it's just not a message for you or come back at the end of the month and see maybe if things kind of have changed. Yeah. Cool. Boop. All right, Leo. Overall energy. You've got the three of cups. 
Excellent. This actually makes a whole lot of sense. It is resonating with the energy that I was feeling uh, as I was channeling your energy. So there is, a, there is a sense of coming together. There's a sense of union. There's a sense of pride. There's also a sense of leadership here with this Three of Cups. I really feel like many of you are very much getting in tune with or in touch with like soul family. Um, and I do also feel like some of you are really starting to step up into some sort of leadership role. And there are definitely people around you that resonate with this, but also support you in this. Okay. Yep. Ace of Wands. Underneath the Ace of Wands, we, yeah, we've got justice. Booyah, bitches. And then finally, the Magician. Wow, Leo, this is, re this is really fantastic. So I do feel like um, there is definitely a sense of leadership coming into your life. Now, that's doesn't, this does not mean that you're going to be, um, you know, really acting from a place of leadership right away. I do feel like this is something that is manifesting, that is building, okay? You have the inspiration here with the Ace of Wands. Um, and a lot of this inspiration is influenced by karmic scales balancing out justice that has come into your life, a certain form of justice. I also feel like the justice card here is representing justification and it's not being justified by the people outside of you. I really do feel like for some of you, maybe most if not all that I'm channeling for here, you found some sort of deep sense of inner union with this Three of Cups, which this is a union card, body, mind, and spirit. Um, there is a greater sense of completion, of wholeness, of oneness between the sections of yourself, we can say, which is allowing you to really feel this sort of justification within, okay? Inner balance, inner harmony also is what justice is representing here. Um, and then that's leading you on a path towards inspiration or moving in some new, in new, some new direction, um, having some sort of new creative inspiration, okay? But it's just the beginning. It really is just the beginning of this. Some of you are actively in some sort of leadership role or you are, allow, you are able to um, express some sort of leadership uh, uh, stuff, okay? But then for others of you, it really is in the process of manifesting with the magician. You're, there is a very independent energy for you right now, Leo, which is fantastic, but it's not so independent that you're forgetting about the other people that are, could be around you. You're actually very much connected and in tune with the collective, I feel like, but you're doing things in your own way and there are people around you that really appreciate that, okay? All right, so getting into the first half of your reading here, you can either look at this as the first half of your month and the second half of your month. I don't rec recommend that we really look at that look at it that way any longer. Uh, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So I would recommend just taking the message that, messages that come through in this reading and just allowing them to flow, let, allow them to fall wherever they fall. Okay, cool. So, oh, that was weird. Anyway, um, first set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, we have the Knight of Wands, absolutely. This is this to me is the light worker card. Okay, um, there is definitely some sort of inspiration. Definitely been some sort of activation for you. It could it could be a deeper sense of 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 knowing of your life path and what it is you want to bring forward in the world, the light you want to shine for the world, the torch you want to carry for the world, or this is a brand new awakening. Maybe you've come upon a brand new situation in which you're now feeling super inspired to move forward. I would recommend that you try and kind of take it slow because the Knight of Wands energy can be very hasty, can move quickly and can burn out easily. Okay. So pace yourself, but an activation definitely has been had here. There has also may have been some sort of realization with this Ace of Wands. Sometimes to me, the Ace of Wands can be very much like the Ace of Swords where it's like an aha moment, it's an epiphany. But in this sense, when it's the Ace of Wands, it's more of like an, an epiphany or an aha moment that inspires you to take some sort of action, to move in some sort of creative direction. Um, in light of what we're talking about here, this literally could just be the understanding that you needed to now really start to get moving forward, yeah? Something finally clicked and the, the, you know, the, the synapses lined up or the, um, the electrical current found a connection and now it's flowing to a further, deeper, greater place in your life, yes? 
The Knight of Wands is coupled with, hey now, the Two of Couples. Mm. So, um, some of you may be connecting with a soulmate. Some of you may be inspired to move in a new direction. Um, when it comes to a relationship, maybe someone new that you've met here. It definitely could be a brand new relationship. Um, especially with the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and Justice, you could have met this person in a, in a social setting. They could be a friend of a friend, or maybe they're just a friend of yours that's now, the situation is starting to grow in ways you may not have expected. But also, this Two of Cups does represent a union within, balance within, um, the masculine and feminine sides of yourself coming together and leading you forward on this path. It's like the two, the yin and the yang coming together to create a sort of unique light in terms of the sense of self, which is then giving you guidance, direction, inspiration to move forward and really shine your light. Archangel Michael. Yes? But you could definitely have a relationship here. And there could be a relationship manifesting for you, coming in quite strongly, quite hot and heavy, pretty fast even. Um, but that could really have to do with the fact that you potentially been doing a lot of work to bring balance into your life, to heal from the past, to understand the lessons of the past so that you can move forward in your life and not, and first of all, not experience those same lessons again, but also have a better time when it comes to relationships. So also that vision that I was seeing, the, the energy that I was picking up on with your energy, Leo, in the beginning where there's the lion standing on the, um, the plateau, almost like roaring out. It's almost like you could be putting out some sort of energetic signal that you are ready for some sort of situation, some sort of relationship. Um, I'm hearing marriage. I'm hearing a long-term relationship, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that this is where it is right now, but it's like you're sending out the signal, the energetic signal, signal saying, hey, I'm ready for this. So come forward. That's nice. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, you have the 10 of pentacles. So, so yeah, there very much is a family oriented type of situation here. Um, Long-term investment. It also could be, I really am kind of seeing you, Leo, as this wise person here. Um, that the, like the grandfather, the grandparent, the, the, um, the elder in not to say that you're of that age you very well could be um but it's more about the energy it's like think of it as like an old souls type of situation an old soul type of situation okay um i do feel like this prideful energy because they're saying that again the prideful energy but this prideful energy has to do with the family with the finances with the investment with the career with the physical situation. I do feel like there are some of you out there that are really working on balancing out your situation here with justice in order to, or in favor of having some sort of stable foundation for a family to flourish with this 10 of pentacles. And that could have everything to do with this energy here. Also the knight of wands and the two of cups. I do really feel like some of you are very much seeking out a partner, but you're not seeking out a partner in the, uh, a, a traditional sense in like you're on dating sites or you're going out and just dating a bunch of people. It's more about energetically. You're putting out this energetic signature for the universe to help align you with someone that you can grow and invest with, with this 10 of pentacles energy. 10 of pentacles is coupled with, hey now, the three of wands, Leo. Yo, that's good. That's really freaking good. Because to me, it's saying that you really are on the right path, number one. But number two, you're very, very much focused on the future and what it is you want to manifest in the future. I am seeing Leo, I'm seeing you here as this person that has really come quite a long way so far with this three of wands. And now it's almost like a... It's just almost like a checkpoint, almost like a seven of pentacles energy, which makes perfect sense. Because if you take the 10 and you subtract three, the, the three of wands, uh, and you subtract three from the 10, you've got seven. And I'm really feeling a seven of pentacles energy where you're at a checkpoint, you're recognizing what it is you've been through uh, in the past, what has grown, what has 
not grown, what has been successful, what has failed, and what do you want in the future, and really planning for that, even mapping that out in a certain case, in certain cases for some of you, if you're prone to that. Uh, and if, if that's something that you enjoy doing, really mapping things out and building yourself a plan and you know, having a guideline for moving forward, continue. I highly recommend you do that because that could really help you if that's your thing, yes? Okay, your current challenge, or I'm sorry, your challenge in the first half of the reading here, you have, ah, the Two of Swords. Interesting. That's very interesting. There is some sort of indecisiveness here. Uh, what I'm kind of picking up on, Leo, is that maybe you're having trouble really deciphering some of the smaller details of a situation, or maybe what you really want um, on a more specific level in your life. Um, Oh, there it is. Sorry, my, my lips are a little trapped. Um, but you know, I'm not getting too bad of an energy with this two of swords. It just feels maybe like more of a little bit of a nuisance. Um, I do feel like maybe to combat this two of swords energy, you, uh, meditation might be really good for you. Um, number one, that'll help you get in tune with your intuition so that maybe some of the things that you, you're not able to perceive with like your physical senses, you may be able to understand deeper, like with your, um, non-physical senses. But there is a little bit of this indecisiveness here. The challenge might be to open up a little bit. Because as I'm looking into this card, I'm seeing... It's like you have individuals in front of you that you really could be expressing yourself to or communicating with more, getting to know more. And some of you may be having trouble opening up in this way, but for others of you, it's just not exactly knowing which to choose just yet, not having enough information. And that also boils down to, for some of you, um, needing to, to, to decipher exactly what it is you want on a deeper level. You've done a good amount of that so far, but I guess now it's time to like start to go a little deeper and bring some more definition or clarity into the situation for you using your intuition, okay? Two of Swords is coupled with... Ah, <laughs> the Fool! Yeah, so there is some sort of indecisiveness on which direction to move in a leap of faith to take. You want to take a leap of faith. You want to um, start a new cycle, but you don't know exactly how to do that yet. Maybe um, which direction to go in, which person to choose potentially. You're very much at the precipice though. And this is kind of, this is kind of like what I was seeing with your energy in the beginning, Leo, of you standing on this cliff and just kind of like roaring out to the universe saying, hey, I'm here, I'm ready for this, let's start. Your closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you've got <laughs> the Ace of Cups, Leo. Yes, new love coming in. But this is you standing in your pride and your, your, your own love for yourself, okay? This is everything, all of the blessings that you're about to receive, Leo, have everything to do with your own sense of self-love and fulfillment. Fulfilling your own self, filling up your own cup. This is... Potentially, someone could be coming forward also to offer you this cup, which may help you make some sort of decision, which may help you take some sort of leap of faith. Because I feel like it's almost as if, yeah, this is coming clearer now. With this Two of Swords and the Fool, it's like you want to take some sort of leap of faith with someone. You want to move in some sort of in some sort of direction that you're very aware of, it's quite specific. However, maybe some of the interaction that you've had or some of the signs or signals that you have haven't quite lined up exactly with, you know, what you may be feeling or what you may be desiring, okay? But with this Ace of Cups energy here, what I want to tell you is continue being you, continue loving yourself, honoring yourself, treating yourself with kindness and respect, and also kindness and respect, treating other people with kindness and respect. And eventually someone is going to I don't know, maybe get the balls <laughs> to offer you something. Or maybe it's you, Leo, that's wanting to offer something to someone else. And the only way to really make sure that you have the strength and the confidence to do that is to continue to do it for yourself. Make sense? Ace of Cups is coupled with, hey now, the star. Aquarian energy. 
Um, you also have Libra here with justice, but ultimately I really feel like your wish is going to come true. Some is, someone is either going to come forward and um, express some sort of admiration or maybe even some sort of love for you or you will have the ability to do it for yourself uh, uh yeah to, towards someone else um but continue to love yourself continue to work on healing yourself and eventually it's all gonna line up although i do really feel like it's coming very close it may maybe it'll happen in the month of may maybe it won't but you know everyone's timelines are different and we're constantly shifting timelines but i i really do feel like this combination especially right here is confirmation that your your wishes and your desires what you've been asking for is actually going to come through for you all right leo that's excellent getting into the second half of your reading here first side of surrounding energies you have the moon now okay um dark night of the soul potentially uh, but things are not quite as they seem intuition i really do feel like you need to really be working with your intuition this month Okay, the moon is coupled with uh -huh, the empress. Yes, all right. So there is a little bit, there might have been a dark night of the soul energy that you may be coming out of this month or maybe some of you might be going into it this month. But what the empress is saying here is that it's okay, don't worry about it. The universe has you. This is just a moment where, you know, things get a little dark, but there's actually a healing process or some sort of gestation that's happening here with this empress energy. Um, there's even, there's even an energy of someone actually being very fond of you, or maybe you being very fond of someone else, but they don't quite show it. It could be an energy in which they see you as the empress, maybe you see them as the empress. But there's kind of, there might be some fear, intimidation involved. But the Empress energy is here almost as if being like a counteracting energy to the, to the moon. So like kind of like a, a sun type energy, you know, as in the sun, the star. Um, that's very interesting. But others, but, but, but the biggest thing that I'm getting here with the moon and the Empress is that there is some sort of gestation gestational period or some sort of growth that's happening in the midst of darkness and that's why the empress is kind of here reassuring you that things are going to be okay it's actually right on point you're doing exactly what you need to do everything is in alignment you just have to get through this or um it, it the empress energy is the energy of some sort of growth expansion healing even okay i really feel like this is saying um, things might seem dark. You may not be able to see the actual evidence of whatever it is that you're working on, whatever is gestating, but it's happening. It's happening underneath the surface, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, you've got the Four of Swords. Yep. So here is that energy of needing to rest, um, maybe, maybe get some sort of um, uh, differing of perspective. I'm hearing a second opinion or a differing of, of opinion. Um, I don't know if maybe if you're dealing with some sort of health issues or maybe trying to get some sort of consultation and you're just wanting to get a second opinion or a different perspective. But t rest and take it easy, okay? Especially if like you're aligning with a new partner and you've come out of some sort of difficult situation because the three of swords that's hang the three swords that are hanging on the wall of this card that could represent the three of swords um, say is saying that there could be some sort of tough situation, maybe some sort of heartbreak that you're coming out of and you're still kind of armed with the sword uh, <laughs> laying across your lap there as you're laying down. Um, to defend yourself, but also that could be what the Empress is talking about here. That could be a lot of the healing that's happening for you, and it could be someone that could be coming in to really help you heal even more, and you may not necessarily be aware of it. Um, things are not really as they seem on the surface, okay? Four of Swords is coupled with, yeah, the Eight of Swords. Wow. Okay.
there is a situation for some of you here in which there is a really beautiful, loving, caring, compassionate energy around you, but you're not really seeing it for what it is um, with the Empress and the Moon here. And the Four of Swords with the Eight of Swords is definitely talking about some sort of heartbreaking situation or a situation from the past in which you, you're, you're kind of entrapped in the thought process surrounding that. Um, you're trapped in the expectations that it's going to turn out the same way that it did in the past. And that's really not the case. That really could be affecting you here with this challenge section of the Two of Swords with the Fool. Wanting to take some sort of leap of faith or move in some sort of new direction and actually having that opportunity right in front of you with the Empress and the Moon, but the Moon saying that, mm, I don't know, I'm fearful of this, this doesn't seem right, but it's not as it seems. And you're needing to get out of your own way, get out of your own head in order to actually see things clearly. And that's why I was also kind of picking up that this Empress energy coupled with the Moon is like the sun, the, count, the, the counterpart to the moon. It's like, uh, but it's like the moon is eclipsing the sun right now or, some, or in some way or something like that, okay? It's very interesting. Well, look, and then on the moon here, it is kind of like an eclipse type situation, the moon, because you can see the rays of the sun behind it, okay? Behind that moon. So it's like the moon is eclipsing the sun right now. And that could be your own fears, surrounding love, relationships, uh, finances, business, whatever this, whatever that we could be talking about here for you, okay? Your challenge in the second half of the reading here, you have seven of wands, defenses, um, being too defensive. Um, maybe for some of you, it's lack of boundaries. Maybe that was the situation in the past. You, there was a lack of boundaries that ended up hurting you in the end, which is okay. It was just a matter of learning through that situation. Um, but now maybe you're, you have your two walled off or you're learning to put boundaries into place here. I feel like though, in connection with the rest of the energy that we have here, I just feel like this is strong, overly protected, overly guarded energies. I really kind of feel like you, some of you may be under the impression that these other six wands that are down here, may they look like they're trying to attack you, but I don't think that's the case. I think that they're just trying to reach you. Seven of Wands is coupled with, hey now, the Six of Wands though. But here is where that pride and that ego is coming into play. And this is why I kind of feel like for some of you, you're going through a process, a cycle where you're learning the boundaries. Where, where is it to, where am I, where is the cutoff? Where is the line between being sure of yourself and self-confident and self-sufficient and um, overzealous uh, uh, having an inflated ego, um, that kind of situation here. Okay. That's the challenge. And I do feel like there is for some of you, some sort of energy of not wanting to allow someone new in or allow anyone in for fear of getting hurt because of your pride and your ego. You're not wanting to be vulnerable, but actually what you're needing to learn. And I think you have, you're kind of set up here to have that energy come through but um, you're, you're, you're kind of in a place to learn that allowing yourself to be vulnerable in certain situations um, and also within mo moderation is actually a coming from a place of strength, not weakness, okay? But it's learning the balance. It's learning the fine line between that. Your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Ace of Pentacles right underneath the Ace of Cups here, Leo. Ace of Cups with the star, wish fulfillment, some sort of love coming in, love and appreciation. And now you have a commitment with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new job. This could be a new home, um, a new car, something, some, something new physically, uh, a new physical possession. Um, it could be a brand new start to your life on a material plane or in a, a physical sense. It also could be some sort of commitment, the deepening of a relationship. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, from the Ace to the Two. Interesting, the Two of Pentacles. Progress. I do feel like this is 
two individuals, two entities that are kind of like balancing their lives out to each other. It's like, I, or balancing their lives out with each other. I, I'm almost feeling an energy of two people in the dance of infinity. Because as you can see, that two of pentacles here, it does make an infinity symbol. I'm just seeing, I'm seeing an offer here that's somewhat, that's accepted on some sort of level. Um, and then it's almost as if the energies are coming together and you're forming one system that balances itself out very well. And that's very nice, Leo. Okay. Excellent. So now let's get in, <clears throat> get your Oracle card here to tie up this reading for you, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May. Okay, Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. One more shuffle here. Okay, here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit for my Leos. There it is right there. Okay. We have, ah, card number 33, Ascended Master Helios and Citrine. Your time to shine. That is quite beautiful, Leo. Quite beautiful. Let's read a little bit about that for you. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you in the inner, on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost in darkness of some sort in the physical world. That's pretty awesome, Leo. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, don't hesitate to go ahead and email me. Email's in the description box below. Yeah, much love to you guys. I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.